Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you um, about Facebook apps for your business Facebook page or your fan page. Now, what you'll notice when you look at your page, at your business page, uh, what you'll notice are, what you'll notice first of all is you'll see up here, this is your big cover image, this is your profile picture, right below that is some information about your business, and then beside that are these little boxes. What you'll notice is when you, there's a little uh, arrow with a number on it over here to the side. When you pull that down, shows you additional boxes that are below the fold. Each one of these boxes is what's called an app. Each one of these boxes is, is called, is, an, is a different app, and it's good for a different thing. So I have one app that shows all of my photos, one app that shows all my likes, one app that shows a map, which means uh, people who have been at to my business, uh, one is notes, uh, and one is events. Uh, what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to rearrange apps and also how to install new ones. So first of all, I'm just going to show you how to rearrange them and to install new ones that are already there for you to install. Um, all you do is you come down here and you click on a blank app and then click on the little plus sign over top of the app. It gives you a bunch of options. It says add to favorites, okay? So, for example, if you had um, a video, uh, you could put videos in there, uh, you can put MailChimp in there. So one thing you can do is you can put a MailChimp sign-up box in one of these apps, or you can click on uh, Find More Apps, which is what I'm going to do, and it takes you to this page. Um, it's tricky this way to find apps. It's really actually quite difficult to find apps on Facebook these days. It used to be a lot more simple. There used to be a really good search function. There isn't, that doesn't really exist anymore on Facebook. But what you can do now is if you know what kind of an app you want, then you can just do a search for it and it's not that difficult to find. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a search for Pinterest. We just started using Pinterest at the Wellness Show. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook my Pinterest account up to the Wellness Show on here. Now I've got a couple of options. The Pinterest app, I actually don't want that. That's for the personal page. I want the Pinterest page app. So I'm going to click on that and it takes me through and it says, asks me to add my Pinterest page app to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down through and I'm gonna find the Wellness Show, which is the page I want to add it to. Then I'm gonna click on Add Page tab. The next thing you're gonna do is it's gonna ask you for what your Pinterest username is. Now, uh, I did this on my, on my business page as well. The other thing that you can do is you can actually choose a specific board if you want to. I'm just gonna say the whole thing. But on one of my other accounts, I did this where I had it just show the pins from a selected board. Um, I did that because I have a board that's specifically about social media and I put that on my, um, on my page for social media, on my Art of the Business page. But this one I'm going to say show all pin boards uh, and then you can just carry on down, click on save settings. And we'll go back to our page. And what you'll see has happened when we go back to our page is now we have the Pinterest app on our page. So when you click on this, you're able to see our Pinterest uh, account, our, all the things that we've pinned to our Pinterest account without ever having to leave Facebook. Okay, now that we have the apps um, on our page that have been added to our page, the next thing I want to do is I want to actually move them around. I, I want my Pinterest app to be above the fold. I don't want it to be below the fold. What you can do then, so this one, see this one about notes? This one is just not as important to me. So what I'm going to do is click on the little pencil, and what it's going to say is it's going to say swap position with, and it's going to allow me to swap the Pinterest one, and now look, the Pinterest one is now above the fold, and the notes are below the fold, and I think that's really great. And you can do that with any of these. You just click on the little pencil, and then it allows you to change them around. The last thing I want to show you is how to do a custom image in here. So I'll show you this on my friend Allison's uh, page. Allison's page is um, all she wrote. Here it is here. I'll just show you what this looks like. So what Allison's done is um, she has a custom designed, uh, she or she has had, she doesn't have right now, but she had a custom designed cover image up here. 
And with her custom design cover image, she had some other things in here as well. So for example, this is a little custom design Twitter button that she has for her Twitter account. You can do this as well. It's not that complicated. I'm going to just show you that quickly. What you can do is go into, I'm going to go into my own page, the art of the business. And see here I have a Twitter thing and it allows people to know that I'm on Twitter. What I want to do is I want to edit this um, button. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is you want to go up to the top of the page and you want to click on your edit page option. And then what you want to do is you want to click on update info. In your main left hand menu over here, scroll down until you get to apps and click on apps. Well, you'll see here all the apps that I have installed on my page. Now, uh, the one that manages my Twitter is called Tweets to Pages. And what you can do is go down here and click on Edit Settings. And then it gives you three options. So there, the tab is already there. And then you can actually change the name of it if you want to. And then the Custom Tab Image. This is where we're going to click. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on, see, this is the current image. I'm going to click on Change. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go onto my desktop. I, I have a little Twitter um, image uh, that I had custom designed for my website. And it looks like this. And I'm just going to pull that up. And now we're good to go. And let's go have a look at our page. There it is. So there's my little custom designed Twitter app. Uh, you could do something similar. And also you can do it... Uh, so I could do my Pinterest one in here, I could do an e-newsletter sign up thing here, I could do all kinds of things in there just to make it graphically look more branded to my page.